today I'm going to be talking you through my main reading and channel goals for 2022. So I'm going to start with the reading goals and then I'll move on to the things that I'm sort of hoping to achieve with my channel over the next 12 months. The reading goals are quite uh, numeric, I suppose. I have also done another video looking at priority reads and um, the 100 book bucket list challenge as well. So I have some specific books um, that I'm targeting next year, as well as reading the whole of um, the Goodreads non-fiction category. <laughs> So these are just the other bits on top of that, because what am I if not an overcommitter? So <laughs> let's start with some of the goals. A lot of these are the same as I set for myself last year, but this time last year I was not a booktuber, so you won't have seen them before. <laughs> so I will just let you know as we go through how I did with those goals last year and if they're different. So I hope you're with me so far. So the first goal that I have set myself is to read 20 non-fiction. So last year my goal was 10 and I achieved 15, but as I said at the beginning, I am planning to read the whole of the Goodreads Choice Awards, which is 20 non-fiction books. So that needs to be a goal. <laughs> so if I do one, I will do the other. So fingers crossed for that one. The next is to read uh, more translated books. So I've put 10 on the list for this. I'd like to read 10 uh, translated books over the course of 2022. I had the same goal last year and I have almost completed it once I've finished the Iliad uh, by Homer, which I'm hoping to finish in the next couple of days. Then that will be ticked off the list and I will have read 10 translated books. I also want to make sure that my goal is not sort of focused around a number of books. I set myself a nominal goal of 72 books a year, which is six books a month, but I'm not really too worried about whether I hit that or not. But I do want to try and include in that 10, what I would call big books, um, over 500 pages, just to make sure that I'm not just picking up shorter books, because generally I prefer longer books. And again, once I finished The Iliad and The Winter Sea, which I'm buddy reading with Becky from Teacup the Storyteller, once I finish those two in the next couple of days, um, I will have achieved that goal for this year. I have another one now which I stole from Sandy at Miss Read a Lot, Miss Reads a Lot, and that is to read 10 new releases. She is going to do 12, one a month, um, but I'm giving myself a couple of months grace and reducing that to 10, so I would like to read 10 new releases. And sort of linked to that is getting my net galley score up. So my net galley score is shocking right now so I want to get it above 20% I have so many net galley books on my kindle that I need to get to several which are 2022 releases so if I pick those up then I'm hitting two birds with one stone the seventh goal is this seven seventh goal is to pick up 12 books on kindle unlimited one a month this is because I have a kindle unlimited subscription and um I don't use it as much as I should. I think I only managed seven books this year from Kindle Unlimited, so I will be making a concerted effort to pick up more from there. And the last one is to try and do a bit of rereading. And I'm not going to push myself really hard here. I want to reread four books in 2022. That's one per quarter. And yeah, I just think there's certain books, particularly books that I picked up when I was a teenager or when I was at school, that I definitely do want to revisit because I don't really remember anything about them. Um, some of them are also on my best books of all time, but I haven't read them for so long. But should they still be there? So moving away from the sort of um, numerical goals, the uh, quantitative goals, um, I am also participating in the BookTube Prize as a judge this year. I did sort of sign up for all three categories, fiction, non-fiction and translated, though obviously you don't have to judge every round of every um, category. So my desire would be to do two rounds um, in total, so one round maybe for fiction and one for translated, um, and that would be fabulous. So that is what I'm hoping to achieve with the booktube prize and I'm so excited to be involved in that there's loads of really great booktubers who are doing it this year so that is very exciting and I'm also going to be reading the shortlist for two prizes this year um I have decided and that is the Jalak prize which focuses on British black and minority authors and the shortlist over the last couple of years has been really cool so I definitely want to pick up the shortlist and I will feed back to you 
on what I think of those books and I am going to do the women's prize as well. That is quite a lot of books to get through, <laughs> let's be honest. But those are sort of my goals and I suppose the prize goals sort of come into my channel goals a bit as well because it will be content that I'm giving to you guys so hopefully you will find it useful and interesting and entertaining and all those things. Um, so yeah, that sort of brings me nicely onto my channel goals for 2022. And my number one goal is to stop focusing so hard on subscriber count. Um, it's, it's really hard not to look at the numbers all the time. I know that a lot of other, particularly newer booktubers, will be the same as me. And then you check it every day. And if you've lost a subscriber, you're like, no, no one likes me. Um, but I want to stop focusing on that and start focusing on views. So the number of people that are watching my content. And my goal for the year, I'm not setting a subscriber goal, I'm setting a goal on views to consistently be achieving 100 goals, um, views per video. So that's what I really want to do. Setting a goal is use useless without uh, a strategy to achieving it. So my main strategy for achieving that is just to improve the quality of my content. Um, and there are sort of three main strands that I'm going to focus on next year and that is improving my thumbnails. So you will probably see that I'm playing about with fun thumbnails a bit at the moment. So please let me know if you see one that looks particularly good or particularly crap. Um, let me know in the comments. I have super thick skin, so don't feel like you can't give me negative criticism because man, I, I really can take it. And um, So that's sort of number one. Number two is to improve my editing. I do a lot of videos just sat in front of the camera, waffling away. I don't really think about what I'm saying before I say it. Um, and so I edit out like big chunks, which in theory is fine, but it's just not very appealing to watch. Um, so I am going to be trying to do some more interesting things with my editing. Again, if you see something you think, Gemma, that is shocking, then <laughs> let me know. And yeah, I'm, I suppose I'm taking cues here from other channels that I'm watching and particularly when it comes to the sort of the editing and the thumbnails I'm looking at booktubers like Larry Has Opinions and Teacup the Storyteller who are coming up with some great thumbnails and their editing is flawless and I really love it so yeah sort of trying to move more in that direction rather than the complete amateur doesn't know what she's doing which is still very much the case. And obviously the third strand to improving my content is creating better content. Um, so here I'm looking at booktubers like um, Gun, Powder Fiction and Plot and Shelley Swearingen, who are both doing like different things with their channels and bringing up interesting topic areas for discussion and yeah, just pushing the boat out from the status quo a little bit. And I would really like to do that more. Um, or at all, to be fair, <laughs> compared to what I've been producing over the last six months. Obviously, there will be staples that remain, you know, TBRs, readathons, all those sorts of things. Um, but I would like to try and do some different things, some collaborations, some, yeah, just something a bit more exciting, I suppose. So I will be getting my thinking cap on and trying to come up with some some new exciting stuff to bring to you in the in the new year um so yeah so if you see some odd videos coming out that's um probably an idea that i had when i was drunk so <laughs> so yeah that's sort of my main focus for the channel over the next 12 months and then hopefully if i focus on those things the subscribers will grow organically and to sort of milestone that journey so every 100 subscribers i get starting with when i reach 300 i will be hosting a read along and that will be the first time i've ever done that so depending obviously on how many subscribers i gain over the year i will do that number of readathons and um, i hope that lots of you will join me for those so yeah please let me know in the comments below what are your reading goals what are you trying to focus on what are you trying to stop focusing on and yeah, that is it guys. I hope that you like the sound of the plans that I have over the next 12 months and I will keep you up to date as we go through on how I am performing. So yeah, lovely to see you all. Bye.